Hello and welcome back to Lead Coding. On this channel, we discuss problems which are frequently asked in programming interviews. Today, we are going to solve the problem count some matrices with all ones. The problem statement is We are given a matrix of n cross n dimension that is row cross column and it consists of only ones and zeros and we have to count all the sub matrices which only contains one in them. So in the very first example there are six such sub matrices with, with the dimension as one cross one. There are two matrices with the dimension one cross two, three matrices with the dimension two cross one and so on. So in total there are 13 such sub matrices which only contains one in them. Now going for the second example, we will be looking at it. The constraints which are given are 150 cross 150 that is we will have to find at least big O of n raised to the power 3 solution. We cannot go beyond that. So let us look at the second example which is given to us. It is 0 1 1 0. Okay. So the given example is 0 1 1 0 then 0 1 1 1 then we have 1 1 1 0 so this is the example now what we can do is we can fix the topmost left point of our rectangle so let us say this is the topmost left point of the rectangle and now we can extend this rectangle to the right side so initially there is only a single one now we have two ones so there are there are two matrices which we can form using this so if we have one comma one then we can have two matrices of the first one uh, and we are sure that this is the fixed point this is the topmost left point it, this point should be fixed so if we keep this point as fixed this is the first matrix that we can form and this entire thing is the second matrix that we can form so two will be added to our answer now, this was the this topmost left point. This point is fixed. Next, we include the next row. So when I'm including the next row, and when I'm going to extend this row to the right side, I will see that there are three number of ones, but we will not be able to consider all of the threes because we only have two number of ones in the row which is previous to this. So the minimum of these two will be taken. So even if we have three number of ones in the uh, in the row number two, the row number one have only two number of ones. So two will be considered. So this is the uh, only rectangle that we can have now. We cannot go for this rectangle. So in this case also, two will be added to the answer. How? Let me explain for this one as well. So this is what we have obtained. Now this point is fixed. And we have already covered this rectangle and this rectangle. Now we will be going for for this rectangle, and then we will be going for the entire rectangle. So now two more will be added to the answer. So the answer will be four. Similarly, when we go to the next row, we find that there are two number of ones which are consecutive, and it is the minimum. So again, two will be added to the answer. So this way we have to calculate the answer and the fixed point, which is the topmost left point of the rectangle will be all of these points which are present inside the matrix. So all of them will act as the topmost left point one by one. So for, for fixing up the point, for fixing the top left point, it is going to take big O of n square because there are n square points so it is going to take big of n square now in order to find all the elements which are to the right side it will again take big of n and then we are going one by one to the consecutive rows as well so again this is going to take big of n so the total solution will become big of n raised to the power 4 now first we are going to implement this solution and then we will try to do the optimization actually the optimization is in this part that when we are extending into the right we are calculating the number of ones this could be done using pre-computation so let me tell you what we can do 
so if the given matrix is something like this if we have 1 1 0 1 0 1 1 1 0 0 1 0 0 1 1 1 okay in this case in this particular row here the number of 1 including this and to the right side of this is 1 for this particular cell the number of ones to the right of it the consecutive number of ones uh, which is to the right of this is 2 including itself for this it is 0 for this it is 1 again because there there is only one consecutive one so that is this particular one itself so this is what we have we have to store in another matrix this is the sum of all the consecutive ones including the element itself and the elements which are to the right of it so we can see the coding part of it first of all n is the dimension the and m is matrix zero dot size so and m n cross m is the dimension of the matrix which is given to us now to store the pre-computation result we are taking an array of integer which is of the same dimension next we will run a for loop and we have to calculate the pre-computation so for that I have to travel from j is equals to m minus 1 to j greater than equals to 0 j minus minus now if the element which is present in the matrix at this particular cell is 1 in this case I will be incrementing C and C will be my count for each row which is 0 initially else I will make C is equals to 0 and finally my array of integer will for i comma j will be equals to C so now I'm done with the pre-computation part and now I am fixing the topmost left point using these for loops for i is equals to 0 i is more than n i plus plus so this is the topmost left point once I fix this point now I need to go to each of the row including the current row that is I till the last row now for each row I will count the consecutive ones so that consecutive ones could be obtained using this pre-computed array AR so this will be and also I have to maintain the minimum so initially I will take X as the minimum which is int max then X will be equal to minimum of X comma array of K comma J and I will add this X to the answer finally I will return the answer so let me try to run this for i is equals to 0 the problem is over here answer plus equals to x So the answer is correct for this particular test case let us try to submit this it is giving us correct answer so the extra space we are using is n square the time complexity is big o of n cube these two for loops which are used to fix the topmost left point they are going to run in big o of n square the next loop which is iterating through the rows this will be again big O of n so the total time complexity will become big O of n cube 
so if you like this video please subscribe to the channel leave a thumbs up down below and provide me with the suggestions as to how should i make my coming future videos thank you